What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dali Bora and today we are reviewing version seven of the LG Wing front screen protector coming up. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. Now, if you're a long time watcher, you know that I've gone through two iterations of this exact front screen protector. And uh, actually when I put this one on, which was a 6.1 version, I thought, you know what? This might actually fall apart. Uh, so I ended up getting a second one just in case. And I've never used it. It did not fall apart. I honestly thought that there was going to be more wear and tear on it, especially how much I use it every day, especially for the fact that I've dropped it many, many times at this point. And uh, no issues. It's been dropped, like I said, several times with this. No problems. However, we did have a couple wishes, couple wants, couple maybes that I talked about and uh, the creator went ahead and iterated once again and we're gonna check it out and compare the differences here. Now, right off the bat, just let's just compare it outside here. This is the 6.1, this is the new 7, 7.0, 7.1, one or the other. And right away, you can see there is a difference. There's a difference in the shape, there is a difference in the material layout, and most notably, there is a difference in the side here. On the side, on the 6.1, there was a kind of a drop down to allow for swiping. On the new one, it is one continuous side, so that improves the rigidity and improves the staying in placeness. That's a new one. It's a new one I came up with. The, yet one of the other things that I talked about was it kind of like caught up on the bottom here and it didn't really like fit the way I wanted it to. So we're gonna pull this off and see how the new one fits. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with white just to kind of just to kind of see what the difference here is. I do believe we go top on first because that has okay already already okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one off, put the six point one back on. Already, we're looking at so here is where it was at before, and then we're gonna put on the seven you see there's already there's a lot more material there there's a lot more material it's a lot more rigid and it's a much much more snug fit <sighs> man man much more snug fit i will say was not expecting it to be quite that snug but there it is okay so kicks in kind of the same hang up right out the bit right out the gate here where it doesn't quite line up with everything so you do got to kind of play with it a little bit but it's nothing nothing too crazy so now the one of the things that he talked about in his video was that the the lines the the, the case lines up a lot better and i will say along the edge very true, very true. It, it feels like I'm holding one thing. There is still a little bit of a lip, but I mean like, there's always going to be. It's not the exact same manufacturer. It's not cast molded and thing like, things like that. Um, I will say it does feel nicer. It feels way smoother. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna be losing a layer to me just futzing with it. Like, way more comfortable. That, yeah, that's huge. That's, I mean, you can actually see here, there's there's still fibers and layers kind of just falling apart off of this one. Granted, I've been using that one for months, but still, it feels good. Like, it fe it's a good, it's like a good feel. Still, let's see, let's test the, let's test the swipe. Still have swipe, bottom swipe, corner swipe, it's all there. No problems. This top was sticking up before. Still sticking up now, but not, not nearly as bad, honestly. And it's, I mean, it's, it's just a weird thing because you have to, you have to allow for the camera, so you can't really make this rigid. Although, can you? Let me see. If I pop open the camera. I think you could... I think it would it would take some playing around because hold on how far would i have to pull there it is okay so i mean i think you can get you could get a couple layers in there i think you could get 
a little. I'm, we're going to play around with that. I think we're, I think that's going to be the thing I'm going to recommend uh, is that we on the front here, on the top layer where where the cutout is for the camera, put in like a couple layers, like almost maybe just like the same thickness that's on the back. Wrap that around the front, uh, but just like on the inside layer, maybe. I don't I don't even know if that's possible, but. I think it's doable just to kind of bring this down and make it a little more straight. But that's, again, just like last time, that's kind of a non-thing. It's, it's not that big a deal. Really, honestly impressed with the, it's like rounded. It really feels a lot smoother. Just outstanding. Now, let's see the bottom. Same thing is happening. A little less, definitely a little less uh, than the other one. But again, it's kind of a thing you're not staring at. It's not something that you're looking at the whole time, so not really a big deal in my book. The side divot here for the, the, the volume keys is still there, so you still have that that nice spot of, you don't have to look for your volume and power button, so like you're, you know up here is volume, so then down here under the lip is the power button. I dig that. I mean, honestly, overall, this is the improvement I was looking for. Just just like little, little pluses, little benefits. I honestly think because it is up top here and is the first thing that disconnects from the body, I honestly think you could get probably double the depth here just to get this up top more rigidity if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna wrap the case around the front. If you are, we don't we don't need that because that's not going to be an issue once you strengthen the top. But if you're not going to strengthen the top, pulling more material beneath the ear hole, that is going to bring that ear hole into position, first of all, and it's going to eliminate the sticking out. Uh, but I think that's really the, the only thing I can even remotely complain about. <laughs> like, other than that, it's more comfortable... Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. More comfortable, better feel in the hand, better feel down here. That was the other thing. When I was holding it, it was like rubbing up against my finger. It didn't, it wasn't something that I thought about right off the bat, but after a lot of use, you feel it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it feels way better down here. It's, it's a lot softer. It almost feels like it's a different like manufacturing process. Uh, like it feels like there's, I mean, I don't know how, I know there's layers involved, so I want to say there's like double the layers, right? But I don't know if that's the exact methodology. But that just it feels smoother, it feels better in the hand in kind of every way. So 100% definitely recommend getting this one if you already have the old one or if you don't have a front screen protector for your LG Wing. Link down below. Of course, it is an affiliate link, and if you use it, I appreciate you. It helps me, helps the channel, and helps the manufacturer of this because... You know, LG wouldn't do it. None of the case manufacturers would do it. But this guy, this guy, he's got us. He's got us covered, and he's got your LG wing covered. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.